she alleges she was kidnapped, shackled, sexually assaulted, and locked in this makeshift cell. Tonight, a nationwide search is underway for possible victims after a woman escapes from a cinder block cell in Southern Oregon. The FBI says a man kidnapped the victim in Seattle, then took her to his home in Klamath Falls. She was able to break through a door and call police. Good evening. Thanks a lot for joining us, everybody. I'm Steve Dunn. And I'm Deborah Knapp. 29-year-old Nagasi Zuberi is in federal custody for interstate kidnapping, and authorities believe there could be other victims. K2's Emily Gersh is live at the FBI field office in Portland. And Emily, authorities also recovered handwritten notes written by Zuberi. What did they say? Yes, Steve, while well, those notes are quite unsettling, they say to leave his phone at home and, quote, make sure they don't have a lot of people in their life. You don't want any type of investigation. His notes also include a drawing of a cinder block cell 100 feet underground and supplies needed, including a rubber coat and waterproof concrete. The disturbing evidence uncovered to date points to an individual's ongoing and escalating pattern of violence targeting women in multiple states throughout the country. Take a look at this man. His name is Nagasi Zuberi, but the FBI says he also goes by the names Sakima, Justin Heitch, and Justin Kwasi. The 29-year-old is in federal custody for interstate kidnapping after a Washington woman escaped his home in Klamath Falls, claiming she was kidnapped, sexually assaulted, and locked in a cinder block cell. According to the complaint, the woman fought for her life, beating the doors in the walls of this cell with bloodied hands. Here's how it unfolded. On July 15th, around midnight, authorities allege Zuberi solicited the woman for prostitution in Seattle, pretended to be an undercover police officer, and showed her a taser before cuffing her hands and ankles. The woman said during a seven-hour drive to Klamath Falls, he pulled the car over and sexually assaulted her. After arriving at his home, he then locked her in a makeshift cinder block cell in his garage. After several hours, the woman was able to break the door open, grab the handgun he left in his car, and flag down the first motorist to call 911. Authorities called her actions heroic and said her will to survive may have saved other women from a similar nightmare. If she didn't do what she did, we wouldn't be here today and Mrs. Zuberi would not be in custody. The FBI says after a 45-minute standoff in a public parking lot in Reno, Nevada, police were able to capture him. He's now being taken to Oregon by U.S. Marshals to be charged in federal court. The FBI says they believe there are more victims linked to him. They are asking them to come forward. Victims may know Zubari by the name Sakima and it is believed he may have used several different methods to gain control of his victims to include drugging their drinks and impersonating a law enforcement officer. The FBI has already linked Zubari to four other sexual assault cases. If charged with interstate kidnapping, he faces a maximum sentence of up to life in prison. Live in Portland, Emily Gersh, K2 News. What a story, Emily. Thank you for that.